Inspired from a sketch by Yun Kiyoshi, a Japanese creative coder, I decided to make a version of it using geometry notes. It got a pretty hot response on Twitter, so I'm sharing the steps I took to create it. Building this will be way easier than you might expect. It's made of curves sweeping along the edges direction of this donut mesh. If you think of it, the donut is nothing more than a wrapped grid full of horizontal and vertical edges. That said, I guess you're already thinking of two or three ways to build it yourselves. If that's so, go ahead, pause the video and do it. Then watch this video and let's compare notes. First things first, we need a donut. To save you valuable time, I've gone ahead and added two curved circles and a curve to mesh node. As a second step, we'll separate this mesh into horizontal and vertical edges. Append a separate geometry node and set the domain to edges. We'll make use of the index number to set the selection. Compare and see if the index number is less than the total number of points in our geometry. Use a domain size node, set to mesh, and feed the point count value into the compare node. Magic, right? At this point we have separate geometry streams for both parallel and meridian edges. But the geometry is still a mesh. Let's convert it to curves. Add a Mesh to Curves node. To give the impression of movement along the edge direction, we'll trim the curves. Just like in my previous tutorial, we'll use time to drive both start and end factors. Divide time in seconds by 2 and use a fraction node to loop the start factor value in the range from 0 to 1 during this interval. Add an offset let's say 0.5 for the end factor, and again, use a fraction node to loop the result. Hit play, and watch the curves draw and erase themselves in unison. But how do we offset them in time? We'll use the index number of each curve for that, together with the total number of curves. The domain size node set to curve is the right tool for the job. Divide the index by the curve count. This will normalize the index value into a range from 0 to 1. Add this result to the time interval value, hit play and proudly watch the curves animate with an offset. You can multiply the division result by a full number to further offset the curves. As for the spheres at the tip of each line, instantiate an icosphere on the points of curves and use an endpoint selection node with only the start size value set to 1. Now join both geometries. To animate the curves in reverse, negate the time divider value. And there you have it. Now you can guess the rest. Go ahead and create a second branch of the geometry for the other set of edges, the ones going parallel to the ground plane. Play around with the settings and in the end join both geometries together. I bet you all learned something new today. Can you come up with more variations? Go ahead and experiment. This is where I leave you, ask questions if you have them and if you like the video, share the knowledge.